Let's wait for the Paul Bunyan to stop. Yep. Hey, popular people, it's time for another Friday fan video. I am Mark Cope. This is Carlo Moss. Hi. Hi. Hello. Usually there's more to say than that. Shut and up, Mark! Today our special guest is Pete Capella, aka Tanner Christensen. Hey, guys. Aka Share Guy. Yeah. Share Guy. <laughs> sweet, sweet Share Guy. Uh, today we're going to be talking about all kinds of. There's so many amazing pieces of fan art and pictures that Carlo found. Yeah, I, I, I went through and uh, found a lot of fan art that specifically relates to the recently completed season finale. Woo! Yeah. Cool. Start right off with uh, something one of our old fan Friday videos. We asked you guys to make a magazine cover, right, with our characters as the head, and one of you made a. Uh, was it MPJS Go magazine, right? Yeah. With Jane Dermott on the cover. Yeah, Jane Dermott was on the cover, and then they made the centerfold article. No way. Like, yeah. Very legitimately wrote an article. That's awesome. With her as the main person. That's fantastic, yeah. Yeah, super cool job. Our fans are really talented. They yeah. are much more talented than us. Yeah, exactly. This is Adrian Lowe on DeviantArt. Yeah, but super cool. It's really cool. It's, it's written all in the perspective of like if Jenna Darabont was giving an actual magazine interview. That's really right. Cool. Exactly. Yeah. Like what was like the start of the show and all that stuff. Yeah. Judith and Rachel, the unpopular girls. Yeah. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. They added some acne. Yeah, exactly. You yeah, know. you know. Our Barbie dolls have perfect complexion. Yeah. Like, acne is inferred. That's not realistic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they look like great Beavis and Butthead characters. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, no. they do. Or like South Park characters. Yeah. yeah. So uh, now it's gonna get dark. Yeah, now, now, now it's gonna start to get dark. It's on the lighter side. Here's <laughs> Stab Jenna Darabont <laughs> in prison, slowly dying out. That's Shut great up. though. Yeah. Oh yeah. Great. Great and fantastic. Great graphic. All right, next yeah, we got this. This is amazing. Wow. Right. The uh, the is, birthing scene. This is what I like to call the MPGIS nativity. <laughs> Exactly. You could buy them at Christmas. I yeah, hope. exactly. Oh my God, that's exactly what I want to do. <laughs> so we have the three wise girls, uh, little baby born, little baby Brittany, with Jesus in the background. Of Getting course. Very literal. Oh, I didn't even see that because of the glare. That's so amazing. Yeah, it was full on Jesus. And it's, it, it's either Jesus or the bearded lady that won Eurovision. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? right? Yeah. Pop culture references. <laughs> Just say a sexy Jared Leto. You're much safer. Oh, that would. There you go. Oh, wow. Now so, we get a little bit more graphic. Yeah, so now we're going to get into some real life uh, zombie Jenna Darabont. But really, this looks like murdered. Yeah. Dissected like Jenna Darabont. <laughs> Naked oh. and raped Jenna Darabont. Yeah, this is graphic. Yeah. yeah. So that's, that's her having gotten stabbed. All right, now we got a. Uh, this guy who went to Pizza Street. Fantastic. In our uh, t-shirt. First of all, our exclusive t-shirt that only went out to Indiegogo donors. That's true. Mm, Cheap true. plug. Why I'm plugging it, I don't know. It's over. <laughs> it's over. Yeah, so they you, feel can't, you can't get that shirt. <laughs> so they feel good with themselves. Well, yeah. I will, uh, if anyone really wants it, I'll eBay it to you. <laughs> One million. <laughs> Now we have another uh, zombie Jenna Darabont. Yeah. I like how first they wanted to die, and then I made the death so gru <laughs> gruesome they were like, I don't know if I wanted that. They were like, that was a little bit much. We yeah. kind of liked her. Yeah, they were like, they're like, what? Now they're like, we'll just bring her back as a zombie. Yeah, exactly. It is really cool though. <laughs> they, they're not happy with dead characters now. Yeah. Yeah. Here's somebody who, in their senior yearbook, no made way. their quote. Yes. As the catch Dorian isn't even in charge of the door. Shout out to you, Jordan Green. That is insane. That's the coolest That's thing ever. Amazing. Yeah, you're you are not going to regret that in ten years. Yeah, <laughs> like that. No, you're, you're legitimately not. That's fantastic. Shut up, Mark. And now the most impressive of all things. This father-daughter combination have started their own collection. Yeah, and they have collected quite a few of our dolls. That's insane. Which, and they can attest to the fact that almost none of those dolls. They're, the costumes are different. Like, like they don't come costumed the way that they do. Yeah, like box. that Cezanne outfit is like from three other dolls. The, yeah, the Cezanne outfit is made from like a Bratz doll, like a cut up shirt. The doll itself is from like the 80s. You have to hand make Deandra because I hand. Yeah, exactly, that. with an Iron Man arm. By the way, there's there's the answer to all of your questions. It's an Iron Man arm. It's true. Yeah. That's so, uh, like I'm blown away. I'm speechless yeah. <laughs> at this. And this is awesome. Yeah, they have a massive collection going, and they're gonna keep going. So, if you guys have any sort of collections, because I know there's other collections of our dolls, people yeah. who out there make characters, uh, let us know. Send them to us, and we'll shout them out. Your doll collection goes to the front of the Fan Friday line. Mm. Uh, Ooh, P questions. P questions. All right. So, uh, on Mackenzie's Twitter account, uh, we reached out to you guys who had questions for Pete. So here we go. Ooh. I hope I have the answers. Yeah. All right, question number one. 
is from uh, Jen Keith 10. Hi, Jen Keith 10. Her question is, I don't have a question. I just love you. I love you too. Oh my God. Seriously. Starting off strong. I yeah. love this. This is great. Uh, all right, next question is from at MPGIS eating arm, which is the Twitter account for the eating slash delivery arm. Great. Uh, do you relate to Tanner or any other MPGIS character? Huh. All right, that's good. Uh, I relate to Tanner. He's, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm straight, but uh, I was a high school athlete. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I think he's great. I think he's really, uh, he's really fun to play. He's the voice of reason, as clearly in this room, these two are idiots, so someone has to be a voice bup, of reason. Bup, bup, jerk off into the camera. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I do relate to Tenor. I, lo I love playing. I also relate to Share Guy because I'm a dork. <laughs> mostly Share Guy. Yeah, mostly Most Share Guy. We don't even write Share Guy's lines. Yeah. All right, last question is from uh, Charlotte XXOX. Hi, Charlotte. Her question is, what is your favorite character on MPGIS aside from Tanner? Um, I love Fan. I, I love Fan. What's he's, up? He's so good. What's up? He's so good. I love it. Uh, and to, if you guys are in the room as all this stuff is happening, uh, Mark is brilliant. It's, he's so much fun to play with. So I just make up intro you, yeah, intro music? Miss, yeah, make, make up what our <clears throat> intro would be. This. So it's gonna be... Fine of the week! That was incredible. Pretty great, that huh? Amazing. Oh my God. Right, cool. And everyone in this building heard it. <laughs> Shovel to the head clip is my one of my favorite clips of all it's time. Amazing. It's amazing. Yeah. It can be used anywhere. Is it a shovel? Yeah, she hits her in the head with the shovel. Okay. That's insane. And then her head bounces off the concrete. <laughs> if you watch the beginning of the video, the chick who gets hit with the shovel was beating the hell out of that Oh, girl. shit! It was like a fist fight, and that girl with the pink was just pounding on this girl's face. I mean, this girl was just like... I mean, just getting wailed on. And then the girl goes to her porch, and then just grabs a shovel, and the girl thinks like, well, now I'm gonna lose. <laughs> yeah. And then she just her away, just... Boom! Domes her with the shovel. <laughs> wow. It's actually a very long, very funny uh, if you enjoy watching girls beat the hell out of each other video. But you should follow this man right here, Pete Capella, on the internet. Uh, what's your Twitter handle? At the Pete Capella. So, T -A -T, you know, Pete like it Capella. says right here. Ooh, right here. Uh, Tanner Christian uh, Share Guy. Hit him up, guys. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. If you haven't watched the finale and you just saw all that blood and gore, figure out why. Go so watch awesome. the finale. So watch good. Watch all of episode 58, guys. And also, before we go, uh, last week on Fan Friday, we talked about our t-shirt winner winners. 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 Sorry, guys. We're my, all winners. My tongue stopped my working for winners. no reason whatsoever. <laughs> uh, we talked about our t-shirt winners. Those t-shirts are going to be in the store next week. So uh, make sure you follow Mackenzie on Twitter because as soon as they're in the store, she will be sending out a tweet letting you know uh, they're going to be on t-shirts, tank tops, uh, iPhone cases, Galaxy cases, mugs, everything. Uh, all three of those designs. Condoms. Yeah, of course. Tam all course. new MPGA is so condoms. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, so yeah, go check out the store. The, uh, the new Overland Park Championship shirt is in there now. Those three shirts will be in there next week. And we will see you next week. Bye! Bye! Bye.